Okay, here's an integration question with initial conditions. Given f double prime of x equals x squared, f of 0 equals 2, and f prime of 0 equals 7, find f of x. All right, well, let's ignore the initial conditions for just a moment and take a look at the function here. f double prime of x equals x squared. Well, what we're going to use here is the power rule. And if you remember from differentiation, if you've got a function x to the n, the derivative of that with respect to x is equal to n times x to the n minus 1 power. Well, conversely, if we take the integral of x to the n, well, that's going to be equal to 1 over n plus 1 times x to the n plus 1 plus c. You don't want to forget your c there. All right, so given that, let's take a look at our, uh, our equation here. f double prime of x equals x squared. Let's just go ahead and integrate that. So the integral of x squared is going to be equal to 1 over n plus 1, which in this case is 2 plus 1, which is 3. So 1 over 3 times x to the third plus c. And I'm actually going to call this c1, and you'll see why in just a minute here, because you always want to add that constant. Remember, this is the integral of f double prime, so this should give us f prime of x. Remember, x squared is equal to f double prime. Okay, so we have this expression for f prime of x, but we have this unknown constant c1 at this point. Well, hey, let's take a look here. This is where the, uh, the initial conditions come in. Uh, let's take a look. f prime of 0 equals 7. So, hey, f prime of x is equal to 1 third x, uh, x cubed plus c1. So f prime of 0 is equal to 1 third times 0 cubed plus c1. And we know, given the initial conditions, that this is equal to 7. So right away here, we can see that c1 is equal to 7. And therefore, f prime of x is equal to 1 third x cubed plus 7. Alrighty, but we're not quite done yet because really we want to find f of x. Well, simple enough. All we have to do is integrate one more time. And the integral of, let's just take a look at this x cubed here for a moment. Using our, our power rule, we can see that the integral of x cubed is just going to be 1 fourth x to the fourth. And if we combine that with the 1 third that's already there, we see that f of x is going to be equal to one third, and this thing becomes uh, one fourth x to the fourth. Now remember, we also have to integrate the seven here. Uh, the integral of seven with respect to x is just equal to seven x. And one more time, we have to include a constant, and there's our c2. Alrighty, well this simplifies a little bit to 1 12th x to the 4th plus 7x plus c2. And we have one more initial condition, f of 0 equals 2. So if we plug that in down here, we see f of 0 is equal to 1 12th 0 to the 4th plus 7 times 0, plus c2. And we know that this is equal to 2. And so these two terms obviously cancel out. So we've got c2 is equal to 2. And now we plug in this final constant. 
uh, to our original equation for f of x, and we see that f of x is equal to 1 12th x to the fourth plus 7x plus 2. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.